Did we get that science? Yes, yes we did. Okay, very good. So that's plus 5 science, plus 8 science. Recovery of a vessel after a suborbital flight. Very nice. Crew report while in space near Kerbin. Very good. Okay, so that's 32 science. We get some more science. Let's see, what, what should we get? I want radial decouplers. Yeah, okay, so we're going to go for this. Even though it would be nice to get some separatrons and a new kind of liquid fuel engine. But I need radial decouplers. We need radial decouplers so that we can do staging from the sides. How much more science do we have? 14? We cannot get... Yeah, okay, so that's 14 science. General construction. Struts? Oh yes, struts. We need struts. Launch stability enhancers, some more radial decouplers, and tricouplers, more wings, a state putnik. Alright, so there's our first probe that we can get. Inline reaction wheel. Very useful for turning and such. Uh, how do we how do we get solar panels? We need solar panels, like immediately. Alright, very good. So I'm pretty sure at this point we can do a suborbital flight. Uh, not a suborbital flight. I'm pretty sure we can do an orbital flight. So let's see if I can figure out how to get ourselves into orbit. Uh, this is not what I wanted to do. Go to the VAB. Okay, let's see. Put this over here. We want to put our goo on the side, but we're going to put it... Let's put it back here. Actually, is that is that going to be too far out of the way? Let's put it... Uh, why is it wiggling? Okay, so that's, that's clearly a little bit unbalanced, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but, uh, you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. I want to put our science communitron over here. And... Let's see, this is the largest that we have, right? So let's... Four or four of them, maybe? I don't, I don't know how... How long this is. Alright, so that... Maybe? Let's, let's put one last stage right here. Where is our decoupler? Put a decoupler right there. All right. Okay, that's good. So we have radial decouplers, so let's put them over here. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. But why not? Okay, so I found out that we can use X. X to change the symmetry. Good, wonderful. While it's still on there, that saves me a lot of time and heartache this up a little bit. Uh, so we don't have the launch stability enhancers. I've never tried to launch a multi-stage, multi-column rocket without the uh, launch stability enhancers. I'm a little bit concerned. We're probably going to fall over, but eh, oh well. There we go. Uh, we... Yeah, we do not have any struts, so that's that's clearly something that we need to get as soon as possible. So let's put this here in the center. Is this is this flat? Not not exactly. Okay, that looks pretty flat. This is probably going to explode. But whatever. Okay, so we need all three of these in the first stage. After these run out, I want to... Are these both the same decoupler? Yes, they are okay. And then start... And after that runs out, this decoupler here will go. Starting this engine here. And then finally, when everything is done, we decouple everything. And then we come back down to Kerbin. Right? Should be good. The dumpster diver. Let's save it. 
and let's launch it, or at least try to. So this episode's gonna be about 30 minutes, I believe, unless we can get to orbit. Whew. Please, physics, don't kill me. Oh, Jebediah Kermit, no, 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 no. Revert flight to the vehicle assembly. I want, I want Magnus. Why can't I get Magnus automatically? Okay, crew. Don't want you, Jebediah. We want you, Magnus. Very good. So save and launch. Very good. Ooh, I'm so excited about the new update. So much science, so many things to do. Goo, goo, my friends, goo. I just really want solar panels, that's all. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started then. Whew, th this whole, oh, th th this whole like transmitting data while you're flying is really stressful for me personally because I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. It it's really stressful, but five, four, three, two, one, lift off. So we are leaning just, just a little bit. We... I need... To transmit data since we are going right now and making electricity. Oh, we don't have fuel lines, so this isn't going to... going to work very well. Alright. Transmitting data... Let's observe the goo! Transmit the data... Yeah, this is... this is not going very well without, uh... inline reaction wheels. The shores look inviting and you watch the waves roll into the coast. Alright, sure. Does that give me zero data? Yeah, zero science. Alright, so that's... We're done with that. Okay, we need to start our gravity turn. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but okay. Starting our gravity turn. Uh... This is so hard to control. We need more parts. We need more pieces. Our capsule's SAS is clearly not enough to control this rocket. Why did they not come undone? Why did they not come undone? No, this is not supposed to work this way. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is that is way too far. We need we need to cut this. And slowly roll to our apoapsis, because we, we are way above the 80 kilometer mark. Oh man. Oh man. Well, at least we're in space. Suddenly space music. Oh man. Whew. It's okay, it's okay, Magnus. You can you can do it. You can make it. You can make it to orbit, maybe, possibly. <laughs> I don't I don't even know. I think we're gonna make it to orbit, I think so. Let's go ahead and speed up just a little bit so we can get to our apoapsis. It's basically close enough, right? Right? So let's put this uh, here. And let's go. I really wish those had decoupled correctly, but oh well. So now that we have electricity, let's transmit our science back. We're about to run out of fuel and stage. There we go, stage! Oh my goodness. Oh crap. Uh, get it back, get it back. Uh. 
uh, hard to control. We are currently in orbit! <laughs> uh, wonderful. Very good. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to orbit on our third flight, I think that was. Alright, so we are in orbit. Let's see what sort of wonderful science we can do. Let's check out the goo. Observe the mystery goo. The goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Ten scientific data. We're going to keep this data because we're in orbit. And also... Look at the crew report. Seems to be very much in space right now. Let's keep the data. And let's fly around to the light side of Kerbin. So that we can actually see what we're doing. We're gonna land... Probably in the water right about here. I think. Maybe. In fact, let's go ahead and put a maneuver node right here. Yeah. This should be good. I have no idea how much Delta V we have left. Let's go ahead and... Can we spin? Yes, we can. Very good. Okay, put ourselves right... There. Warp just a bit. Ten seconds, fifteen seconds. Okay, let's uh, go. Let's let's do a little bit more so we can be sure to fall into the ocean. All right, there we go. That should be done, and let's return to Kerbin. Kerbin, you are a beautiful planet. Luckily, we don't have to worry about re-entry heat just yet. But later, later we will. Let's see. Let's aim this here. Aim it retrograde and... There we go. And now we go down. Magnus Kerbin, congratulations on being the uh, first person in space. Oh, I didn't do a spacewalk. I should have done a spacewalk. I'm pretty sure that Kerbals themselves can actually do some some minor research. I think I think you can send out a Kerbal. Let's let's test that on the launch pad before we end this episode. This is going to be a long episode because it's an update. I am not worried at all. Let's go ahead and re-enter. Very nice. 12 kilometers. It's okay, Magnus, nothing to worry about. You are fine. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Let's go ahead and pop our shoot. Shoot is popped. And shoot is open. Oh, there went our, ugh, there went our engine. That was that was scary. Let's go ahead and land him so we can get our science. Hopefully, having the goo on board this time. And fifty meters. Very good. Congratulations, Magnus. You're almost home. Almost home. Yay! And recover vessel. Let's see how much science we got. Ten science. Ten science. Point seven. Very good. Very good. Recovery of vessel returned to Kerbin orbit. Huh. Very good. Nice. Forty science. Alright, so one, one more time. I just want to... 
just want to see if I can use Jebediah apparently this time. Use Jebediah to do some research as an actual Kerbal outside of the thing, out of the capsule. EVA. EVA report. EVA report while flying over Kerbin Shorts. This is a most precarious situation. You're not really flying, you know. Transmit data. Keep data. And... Can I recover the vessel? I apparently cannot recover the vessel at the moment. Okay, so that's stored. Let's go back to the Space Center and recover our vessel there, since apparently we can't recover the vessel from here. Recover? Yes. 5.6 science, data value 0 0.7. Alright, very good. So we did get science for that, so Kerbals also can get science. Good, good to know. Good to know. Alright, so we have the goo, we have the crew report, and we have the EVA report. So all ways that you can get science. I hope that you guys enjoyed the Point 22 update as much as I am right now. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.